What's up, what's up, what's up, beautiful people? Saturday night's ride jams on Sunday morning, the morning after. I was just too tired last night. I'm gonna be making my coffee here, don't mind me. Grandma's tin from the 50s. Um, I was just too tired last night after I parked the car after my Saturday night's gig. Um, Cause as you know, get my masters and back on campus now, man. On campus, two days a week. I have not been a college student on a college campus since Bill Clinton was president. Um, it's wonderful. It's wonderful seeing my cohort that I've only ever known, you know, like on the Zoom thing, seeing them in person and, you know, hanging out and, you know, eating lunch on the quad and all that kind of stuff. And I'm at my internship site three days a week. Um, so all that to say that by the time I parked the car last night after the gig, after the drive home, I was just fried. And I actually did record a ride jams, but it was, it was not pretty. So, uh, excuse me, I just gotta grind the, uh, the coffee. The grind is the glory. thing that I like to think about, you know? So, sometimes I just gotta do it in the morning. Um, like this one. And uh, let me get the kettle going and then I will show you. By the way, I made an incredible sandwich last night. Oh my God. I don't roll the dice, uh, you know, assuming or hoping that the venue is gonna feed the band. Most of the time they don't. And even on the gigs where they do feed the band, uh, you don't know where it's gonna be. You're wandering around the venue. You don't know what it's gonna be. You're hoping that it's something that, you know, you're hoping that if it's chicken, that it was cooked long enough, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I just feel like at this point in my life, I'm a grown ass man, I wanna eat when I want and what I want. So, man, did I make a killer sandwich last night. Um, croissant with some sliced chicken breast, with pesto, with sliced tomato, a uh, little cheddar cheese, and uh, marinated artichoke hearts. Killing. I get all the grinds up in my business. Here, let me show you this. There we go. Kick them up, and then I'm telling you folks the secret is scraping all of it out. All I know is I can taste the difference when I don't do this. Maybe it's an obsessive ritual that I need to do in the morning. I don't know. But case. Ride Jams, what was I listening to? And the gig commutes. So we start with On the Way Outs. It's Joe Locke and David Hazel talking. Mutual Admiration Society. Um, Joe Locke, of course, one of the finest vibraphonists ever. One of my favorite musicians and one of my favorite humans. I'm fortunate to uh, call him a friend. Um, I used to see him back in the late 90s at a place in the village called Kavahaz. He had a Thursday night residency there. And he used to do really incredible stuff. Different band every week. Sometimes it was a straight ahead thing. Sometimes it was more electric. Um, always an exciting 
performer, a composer, arranger, band leader. Um, so this is a, an album we did with a quartet with David Hazeltine on piano, Essiet Essiet on bass, Billy Drummond on drums. Watch this action, baby. Beautiful. What are you going to do when it overflows, John? Not to worry. I'm going to a second mug to catch what we call the pour over. Got to get it right to the level that I like. I'm going to leave room for milk, obviously. Or well, in my case, half and half. So we do like this. Pull that up. We get a second mug in there. And that's the pour over. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that I saw this band live. Because I remember Joe introducing the song K-Man's Crew. And I remember him introducing that song and telling the story of what it's about. Um, I guess there was a guy, K-Man, uh, who used to come to the shows all the time, and he, and he used to bring a lot of people with him, aka K-Man's crew. I remember Joe telling that story to introduce that tune, so I must have seen this band live. Um, maybe that's even where I bought the CD, but uh, I hadn't heard it in a long time, and... Um, it's really lovely. Ooh, 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 CD, cover, phone, reflection. Whoa, whoa, the psycho freaking delic, man. Anyway, so when that ran out, we moved on to Quincy Jones. This is how I feel about jazz. I never knew that this album existed. Um, put a little bit more water in the pour over. Um, but I saw a Quincy Jones title on Impulse that had, featuring Phil Woods, Lucky Thompson, Art Farmer, Milt Jackson, Charles Mingus. I was like, what the hell is this? And this is like New York sessions, 1956. They're like, you know, head arrangements, kind of very loose jam session kind of sounding things with some arranged passages. Um, I mean, like who else is on here? Herbie Mann, Milt Jackson, Hank Jones, Charlie Her Ch uh, Charlie Persip, uh, Shelley Mann, Leroy Vinegar, Pepper Adams. I mean, dude, you know what that sounds like. If I have to describe that to you, forget it. Um, real smooth, real pretty. Um, and then on the way home, we went for the fabs. Yesterday and today, the Capitol release from 1966. Um, I love how when they did the American albums on CD, they did Yesterday and Today with like the original Butcher cover and a sticker for the replacement. And if you don't know the story about that, Google it, baby. It's not enough time. Uh, big doings in the Beatles ecosystem right now with the uh, announcement of the Revolver, Gumizuyan, that's gonna be coming out in October. And of course, what now has become a familiar pattern um, is that they announce the thing and most of the people get excited about it, but then of course there's a few whiny little bitches that, uh, you know, have to go, well, this, they don't have this, or this is already on the anthology, or don't they have enough money? Don't buy it. If you don't agree with it, don't buy it, you know? I gotta ruin it for the rest of us. You know, will I get it at some point? Probably. Um, you know, I'm a sucker for those things, uh, you know, with the hardcover books and all that kind of stuff. Excuse me. Fresh half and half. And the frother. But in any case, um, this is 
tracks pulled from English Rubber Soul, English Revolver, the English Help album. I know there's no continuity here, but when I was a kid, I used to listen to this album all the time, and I'm comfortable with that track list. So there you have it. And that's the Ride Jams. I need a spell. The final step. Oh yeah, look at this, look at this, baby. Listen to music, listen to music, listen to music. It's good for you. It's good for the brain. Self-care. I'll see you on the next one. Be well.